Thank you, Mr. President. I am Senator Nora Ladi Dadut, representing Plateau South. Uh, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to move that the Senate do receive and consider the reports of the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Tech Fund on one, a bill for an act to provide the establishment of the Federal Polytechnic Orozo, Abuja, Federal Capital, to provide for full-time courses in technology, applied sciences, management, administration, and for other matters connected therewith. And two, a bill for an act to repair the National Commission for Colleges of Education, Act Number no. 3 of 1989, and to enact the National Commission for Colleges of Education and for other matters connected therewith. Mr. President, on behalf of the Chairman Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Ted Fund, I so move. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, this is the report on the bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the Federal Polytechnic Orozo Abuja FCT to provide for full-time courses in technology, applied sciences, management, administration and for other matters connected with establishment bill 2022 uh, the findings mr president from the views expressed by the stakeholders at the public hearing and subsequent analysis of both oral and written presentations of memoranda the committee hereby makes the following observations one, the stakeholders who made both written and oral submissions at the public hearing unanimously subscribed to the content of the draft bill and unequivocally supported the passage of the bill by the National Assembly to establish Federal Polytechnic Orozo in Abuja FCT. Two, the establishment of the Federal Polytechnic Orozo will no doubt provide the required manpower needs of Nigerians in the areas of technical, engineering, vocational, science, and technology. Three, also the envisaged polytechnic would serve as a boost for the exploration of scientific and technological knowledge in promotion of cutting edge research, and as well a hope for escalating techniques in science and technology to benefit prospective students for improved learning that would encompass multidisciplinary approaches, knowledge acquisition and dissemination, making ease of planning, adaptive technical maintenance, developmental and productive skills in science and technology. Four, the knowledge and skills that would be acquired by the graduates from the envisaged Federal Polytechnic Orozo in FCT will go a long way in expanding and deepening the horizon of the students in technological advancement and acquisition of emerging utilitarian skills for innovation in science and technology while contributing to national industrialization drive 
and it will certainly enhance social integration for the progress of young people of this country in so many ways. Hence, the need for the Senate to consider and approve this legislative proposal for the benefits of humanity. Mr. President, the recommendation is as follows. The Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Tech Fund, to which this bill was referred, having, having carefully considered same, hereby recommends as follows, that the Senate do consider and pass the bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the Federal Polytechnic Aruzo Abuja FCT to provide for a full-time course in technology, applied sciences management, administration, and for other matters connected there with establishment bill 2022 SB 911 as recommended. Conclusion, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I wish to on behalf of the chairman and members of the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Tech Fund to thank the President of the Senate and distinguished colleagues for the opportunity to serve in this capacity and to humbly request the Senate to pass this bill. I so move, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I, I also want to present the observations and findings of the report on the bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the, uh, the National Commission for Colleges of Education. It's an act to repel the National Commission for Colleges of Education, Act number 3 of 1989, and to enact the National Commission for Colleges of Education and for other matters connected therewith. 2022. The findings, Mr. President, from the views expressed by the stakeholders at the public hearing and subsequent analysis of both oral and written presentations of memoranda, the committee hereby made the following findings. That one, the repeal of the National Commission for Colleges of Education Act number no. 3 of 1989 and to reenact re same will certainly go a long way in ensuring ease of work and smooth transition in change of top echelons of the commission. And it will entrench capacity to colleges of education in Nigeria via training of skills innovation to ensure credible, efficient, viral, and vibrant colleges of education system in Nigeria. Two, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, the passage of this bill is of utmost importance as it will serve as enabler, as enabler for an on-the-spot assessment, ensuring timely accreditation exercise of problematic colleges in addition to ensuring monitoring and evaluation of academic activities in NCE awarding tertiary institutions in Nigeria for better outcome and perfect delivery of results. Three, to further reiterate, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, it has been observed that the repeal of the National Commission for Colleges of Education Act No. 3 of 1989 and to reenact same would provide grounded knowledge, improved skills of teachers, specialists, and practitioners in the education sector, hence, the stakeholders at the arena of the public hearing have rendered their overwhelming support to the passage of the bill by the National Assembly. The repeal of the National Assembly, that is number four, for Colleges of Education Act number three of 1989 and reenactment of same will no doubt provide the required impetus in Provising, pro, in, provi, in improvising of the manpower needs of colleges of education, and it will certainly boost capacity and promote specialized educational services and teacher training in every aspect of education and other fields of applied learning relevant to the mandates of the commission to meet 
developmental needs and expectations of colleges of education in particular and the education sector as a whole. The participants at the public hearing therefore urged the Halloween Chamber for its magnanimity to offer special privilege to the National Commission for Colleges of Education by passing this bill. Four, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the repeal of the National Commission for Colleges of Education Act No. 3 of 1989 and reenactment of same is rather timely as this legislative assignment would ensure enhancement of most archaic clauses and provisions such as National Council of Ministers instead of Federal Executive Council. The reenactment would therefore bring the existing laws in tandem with reality for ease of work and ensure efficiency in the Federal College of Education system. This ensure achieving the most needed educational services to improve on the national policy on teachers' education in Nigeria. Hence, this legislative exercise can be described as putting a round peg in a round hole. Recommendations. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Ted Fund, to which this bill is referred to, have been carefully considered the bill hereby recommends as follows, that the Senate do consider and pass the bill for an act to repel the National Commission for Colleges of Education Act No. 3 of 1989 and to enact the National Commission for Colleges of Education and for other matters connected therewith, Bill 2022, SB 934, as recommended. Conclusion, Mr. President, I wish to use this opportunity on behalf of the Chairman and members of the committee to thank the President of the Senate and distinguished colleagues for the opportunity to serve in this capacity and to humbly request the Senate to pass this bill. I so move, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, and the bill is also passed. Congratulations.